Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can quickly repair your uh, broken analog stick. Would it be drifting, uh, not pressing or any problem related to it? It's really quick fix. It costs you maximum 5 bucks. What you would need the spare analog stick that you can buy at uh, Aliexpress, the 245 Amazon for four bucks each. They usually come with the tool set. The screw, two screwdriver basically, one with Phillips, another one is Y heads, or it will be a full screwdriver, sometimes scissors or some another tools. There are a lot of uh, tutorials in uh, YouTube where you can simply put some spray inside the joystick and it will start working. But for uh, three bucks piece, I would better simply replace it and it's easy, quicker and it will work much longer. And to do it, uh, it's maximum 10 minutes of your time. So disconnect your controller, use uh, Philips. Uh, y screwdriver, the three screws and uh, four screws in the back. One, two, three, four. After that, you open the controller. Uh, pay attention that in the side of the controller there are two ribbon cables. So open it carefully. Put it like this, we will remove the screws. We wouldn't disconnect the battery of anything because as I told it's really quick fix. So we will leave it like this. Only don't play with the screwdriver where the contacts are. There are three more screws, the Phillips one inside. One. Two. Now pay attention, remove the antenna, don't disconnect it, simply put it aside. Now battery should be moved on the left side. As you can see the battery also has a button to it so and the ribbon cable is connected to the board. Disconnect the cable and you can see that the battery is now only equipped with the battery wires and you we see now our analog so there are two Phillips screws, one, two, don't forget to disconnect the cable, we are removing the cable, Here's the old one, the new one, the same way, putting it in place, inserting it in place, securing with two screws, one, two, Putting cable back. Now, doing the opposite, watch out for this button, it can fall, but it's not an issue, we can put it back later. So, for the battery, we need to connect the cable that we disconnected before. We'll remove this button for now. So, we are putting the top button cable in the back. That's why it's better to use the tweeter so it's the cable can fit nicely inside. Okay. As you can see the cable is connected. I don't know if you can see it, but here's the cable. We are putting back the button. And the battery. We are putting back our three screws that's keeping the battery housing in place. One, two. And the third one. You 
put him back antenna. Don't forget about it because it will be scout. And then it goes to if you put him back the cable from the antenna. Okay, the cable's in place. You are closing the joystick. You are putting back the screws. We need to use the white screwdriver. That's all. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.